Yeah, good evening, guys. Today we are going to work with the uh, up to module one uh, uh, that is uh, uh, what is the syllabus, what you have called is up to five in four units. But tomorrow we are going to start with the fifth unit. As for the first four units, what are the concepts we have covered is initial in the first week, we have started with the data types, isn't it? Uh, every language will start with the data types only. Once after understanding the data types, then only we'll go with the control statements. Once after control statements done, then we'll go with the data structures. So that way we have gone through. And uh, uh, what we did is the relevant control statements are we can mainly consider the control statements along with that data structures because Python is one of the best language to make the application very shortly comparatively, isn't it? So. Uh, first to 10 minutes, I will explain about the Python language, where exactly Python language is being used, why it is more popular when compared with the present trending languages. Okay. So Python language is a high level programming language, which will be mainly meant for the scientific application, like a data science. Under data science, you'll be having different areas, like, you know, artificial intelligence, machine learning, isn't it? Big data, as well as other areas. So completely today, the entire world, the entire industry depends on the data science so that uh, you are having more demand for this language, that is Python language. So you are really uh, lucky to have this content and update this uh, language very effectively. If you can continue with this, uh, the next year, next semester also, if you can continue with this, no? then really it is uh, highly useful for you guys actually, okay? I hope uh, you can understand the importance of the Python language. So let me share the content here, guys. Just a minute. Yeah, is it visible to you guys? I'm just opening the screens. Is it opening? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So, so this is the entire content, like, you know, um, somebody joining. That's fine. E drive. Mm, yeah. Value-added courses. So this is the value-added courses. This is the complete value-added course, guys. Whatever we have sent to all all the branches, in respect of the particular branch. Okay. So if you can see the content here, worked examples would be these many programs are being implemented. How many programs you can see? Almost you know, sixty-six uh, programs are being there. Okay. So it will be covering all the concepts like a data basic, uh, basic level to all the concepts actually. Okay, that will also I'll share to you. Okay. Then you can see. Module 10, module 11, 13. File handling already done, right? So I need to see that in 15. Date and time also we have done, right? Up to that level. And 16th module. Regular expressions that also we have covered. And 17 modules, Python, Python modules. Yeah, this is also we have used it. Important uh, how to import the particular package. Region. Command and arguments. CSV files. The, the different kinds of files are being used actually. 
So we'll be discussing the other side. So that I'm going to generate uh, Today we have worked with one random one, right? How to generate the random number. Oops, oops, through Python we have done almost clearly. Which concept only? This is the last one for the theorem, for theory. This is the three tier architecture basically. So, which is one of the new concepts. Yes, uh, let's see that later. All the worked examples, whatever the programs are there that you can share and do it. So this is the completely. You can see the IDE. And yesterday in the morning itself, we have checked with the one website. Python programming. Here we have seen that there are uh, 68 programs are there. You see that. Just if you can click the examples here. The examples, all the examples. Under Python. Now you can see, guys. So this is uh, 68, 98, 98 programs are there here, right? You can see. So the people who are having systems at your home, I'll show you how to practice it. The same code you can write on the cloud, cloud also, okay? Not a problem. So we'll start from the very basic cloud that is Hello World. You can see that. So take the copy, click this option. Automatically it will be get copy. Then you can see. I'll explain each and every line, each and every line of code for you. New. So here you can write save. This is the simplest program. Just save as. This recorded video file will help you a lot. The people who are missing, you can practice it here again. Okay, so here actually Python practice. The folder will be called as Python practice. Practice with the folder. So this one is the first one. Hello world. Save it. You can save. Once the file is saved, what will, how to run this? Go for the run menu under that run module. So this, this is the first program. Maybe there isn't much code is there, only statement, print statement only, nothing is there. Let's work with the next one. Go back. So this is also add to numbers. Nothing wrong. That people who are not at all worked well, they can also start this. Nothing wrong. Add to numbers. Copy this content and paste it on the IDE. This is the IDE, right? ID integrated development in a run to make the program to execute action. Isn't it? You can see. This is the code. 
So here you can see that. Add two numbers, you can see that. Problem two. Problem two, you can see like this. Save it. Now we can see this is the syntactical notation. First, we have taken the n value that is number one, and you can confine to the number two. Adding two numbers, simple expression would be sum equal to number one plus number two, isn't it? So finally, print statement. We can summarize the value and print it. Okay, sum of that is zero index and first index. As a result, you can see that second index is second index format number one, number two, sum. Sum can be the third index actually. Okay, now you can run it. Click the run button, run. So the sum of the 1.5 and 6.3. Ultimately, the output would be 7.8. Okay. So this is the simplest example for the Python program at the core level. Okay. Next one you can see. Square root. Find the square root. This is a square root value. Make it new. Is the code actually number equal to eight? And you know the number equal to SQRT. Directly can use it. Number underscore SQRT equal to num star star zero point five. That is one by five. So number five, like in you know, star star zero point five. Enter the square root of the root value is first del f zero point three. That is the three three digital points are required. Okay, decimal points. And here also three points decimal point. So number and number SKT formatted data is given here. You see that. Okay, add demo, assume that. You can see that. Run it now. Save. Practice, Python practice, yeah. Here it is. Problem set two, three. I will save now. I got the, the, the square root of the value is this. Yeah. Next you can see. Print the square square root of uh, percentile of dot three f. That is three point three decimal points we can add up like that. Zero point three three f. That is three decimal points. It will be added. Okay. That's the reason.
अंदर वेतर Okay. 